اللہ ونش جنت بقی بے ان دس مائی از تو جانا ٹھیک ہے نہ جانا کوئی حرج نہیں اٹ ڈزنٹ میک نو ڈفرنس اف یو گو از فائن بٹ اف یو ڈونٹ گو دیر از نو حرج نو پرابلم ایٹ آل دس از اوبویسلی سم تھنگ وچ ایلس از ریلیٹڈ بٹ آئی سپوز دا بگر کوسچن وچ کمز ٹو مائنڈ از دا فاسٹنگ از فاسٹنگ ٹو بی ڈن ان کوئنسائڈنگ وت شعبان دیر از ون حدیث نریٹڈ آن دی اتھارٹی علی رضی اللہ عنہ ہی مینشن ان علی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اذا كانت ليله النصف من الشعبان فقوموا ليلها وصوموا نهارها فان الله ينزل الله عز وجل he mentioned the whole hadith ali radiyallahu ta'ala and mentions rasul allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said when it is the nisf of shaaban the 15th of shaaban then may qiyam in the night and also fast during the day in addition to that he mentions ينزل الله عز وجل الى السماء الله عز وجل and descends into the skies and he mentions as well min ghurub ash-shams from the time of maghrib allah azza wa jal descends into the dunya fa yaqul and he mentioned these following words allah azza wa jal mentioned these words ala min mustaghfir li astaghfira aghfir lah is there any such person that comes and seeks tawbah fa aghfir lah and i shall forgive that person for his tawbah ala mustarzik fa arzuqa Is there such a person that says, Ya Allah, give me some form of sustenance and rizq. I will grant that person rizq. Ala mubdalan fa'u'afiyah. Is there a person that is in a difficulty? They may beseech Allah and Allah Azza wa Jal to say, I've, I help that person. I will assist that person. May us benigli afid ka ma'amala farmaunga. And then he mentions, Kada wa kada hatta yutla al-fajr. اسی طرح اعلانات ہوتے رہتے ہیں سملر اعلان اور اناؤنس مست ٹیک پلیس حتی انٹل دا ٹائم اف فجر کمز ان دس حدیث از اونلی نریٹڈ بائی ا کمز ان ا کم نریٹڈ بائی علی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ اینڈ از ریکارڈڈ بائی ابن ماجہ ناؤ دس پرٹیکولر حدیث اگین اگین اٹس ناٹ فری فرام ہیونگ ا ویک سند But due to now, in order for something to be permissible again, yeah, you have a weak hadith. But now to say that you have to fast or it's necessary to fast, this is where the problem arises. You don't have to fast. It's optional and it's permissible. The most you can say is mubah. And you can say it's allowed. More better than that would be the ayyam ul bid. Where the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he would do, he would fast the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th of every single lunar month. If we had done that 13th, 14th, and we by chance fasted, fasted the 15th, then take it. But there is no extra reward for fasting on the 15th of Sha'aban. Understand this clearly. My purpose is that by we should know the, the status of these things it's not far it's not wajib it's not even some ilma even say it's even a sunnah it's just simply something which is permissible to do because you only have one riwayah and even within that riwayah there is a lot of questions that can be raised as well it doesn't mean it's haram because Absa has never forbade it and you can't say this is like shirk or kufr or bid'ah because no one's saying that they regard this as deen by jayz کر لو تو ٹھیک ہے کرو نہ تو تب بھی کوئی حرج نہیں اٹس کمپلیٹلی فائن بٹ دیر آر سم تھنگز آر اسپوز وچ وی ہیو ٹو مینشن اینڈ دیٹ از ان ایڈیشنل ٹو اللہ اکبر سم آف دی تھنگز وچ ٹیک پلیس ایٹ دس نائٹ یو نو بیفور آئی مینشن دیٹ از سم تھنگ آئی فورگوٹ لکلی آئی ہیڈ دس ابن تیمی رحمۃ اللہ تعالی علیہ دی گریٹ اسکالر ابن تیمی رحمہ اللہ ان فتح القدیر فیض القدیر دس از مینشن ان فیض القدیر مینشنز علامہ ابن تیمی رحمہ اللہ وی ہیو ابن تیمی ا گریٹ اسکالر اف دین very 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 hardcore you know, in his beliefs he said due to the sheer fact of the overwhelming number of ahadith we cannot deny the virtue of the 15th of shaaban you can't deny it although although you can't say that it's a fard or a wajib or these things but we can't deny it the same thing is mentioned by abdul rahman mubarak puri in tuhfat al ahwadi which is the shara of tirmidhi uh, the famous book of the hadith so these all are mentioned by big ulama as well that it's not but the, but the sheer number of narrations we can't say that there's nothing but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is best if someone doesn't do it you won't say by tum kya ho yaar sharam nahi aati hai pandra shabaan hai roza nahi hai and on the contrary someone that does it say this is shirk or kufr 
because that is two sides of the extreme. We have to understand by sasutri baat malum karne chahiye. What is the correct stance? But there are some things I will mention. There is absolutely no basis in Deen whatsoever. Absolutely no basis, and actually something which is harmful for our Deen. One of those things is lighting lanterns. Lighting lanterns. I saw this actually when I went to. I was studying in Pakistan and I come across this. Our, one of my local masjid, Muhammadi Masjid, mashallah. And next to it was a graveyard and people were lighting lanterns and putting them on the graves. Now, I tried searching for this somewhere and I thought to myself that where on earth can I find this? And I only come across it in one particular book. There was a type of group of people, a type of group of people in the eighth, actually, when was it? A good over, I think, is about eight centuries ago. We're talking about, and Ali ibn Ibrahim, he mentions this incident about the Baramika sect. They were people who were offshoot of Majusi. They accepted Islam, but yet because of that court, there was that some court or some Islam had not fully went into the heart, and due to that perpetual fire worshiping, then what they done was is that they then started to hang lanterns, and they, something that was very common amongst their homes and their environments. But khair, this was a tool which was used, a tool which was used by some people to gather the people in. You know, some people, they will try anything just to make the majma go big. That's why we have to make sure that khalis, Allah ki baas tekaam hona chahiye bhai. Only for the sake of Allah. Just as like that sipai, that one that at the time of Sa'ad bin Bukas, same thing. Not that hum sab ko razi rakhe, bhai chalo bas jis tarah bhi ho. You know, this is not deen. Deen ittiba ka naam hai bhai, ittiba, following janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But khair, looking further down, where on earth this whole thing of lighting chidagad, wallah, this is not established anywhere. And you know, the funny thing is, it's only found in the Indian subcontinent. You won't find it in Arab countries. Actually, the, it was found for a short while in Syria, in Egypt. And in eighth, the 8th century, this is the Hijri Khalid I'm talking about, the, 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 the ulama at that time, they outruled it. And they said, this is coming closer to even like fire worship now. So they completely outruled it. But for some reason, it's prevalent today, nowadays, in the, in the subcontinent, India and Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, it's very, very common. Burma, why? And the only sound conclusion you can come is just this one. You have to understand, Indians, uh, when I mean Indian, I mean like the Hindus, uh, Sikhs, Muslims, they all lived in one community. And certain things from their madhab crept into our own madhab. Diwali is one of those things which they do, they light up these things. And if you notice as well, they have our weddings the same. They have these trays with mud pots, with agarbatiya inside, candles inside, and they're shaking it around the heads of the people, applying oil on the head. And this happens, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Mendiya, the Rasul of Mendi, where did it come from? It didn't come from Islam. It didn't come from Fatima, Aisha, Zainab, Hafsa. It didn't come from these women. It comes from the time of the Hindus, where they would rub oil on the head. And where do you think about shoving a ladu in the mouth come? There's no basis, no basis at all. So this is why we find this whole lantern business, it actually comes from the Hindu madhab. It comes from, the, like for example, when someone passes away in the Hindu madhab, they make a source of 40 days. This would just say, this is my one, I ask. Aab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he passed away, if anyone there was to make a source for Wallahi Allah's Qasim, it would have been Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't find the example in the annals of history of anyone making a source for that amount of time. Because now it resembles the Hindu Madhab. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, If you resemble a group of people, then you are from amongst them. I will just conclude inshallah in a couple of minutes and we will finish. We are literally just coming right towards the end. In addition to this lighting of Chiragha, Wallahi Allah's, Allah knows best where it comes from. Another second thing is lighting of fireworks. Yes? Otana. It happens. And I saw this with my own eyes. 15th of Sha'aban, people lighting fireworks. Ajib. This has got no basis. This is actually again close to the Hindu madhab again. No basis in Islam. But another thing which I find bizarre, and actually I, I call it jahal and ignorance. Where on earth? did the fact of cooking halwa or zarda and distributing that. Making halwa and distributing halwa on the 15th, where is that established? And if you don't do this, I don't know. Oh, Allah. 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 Oh, Allah.
That's how they properly started. People wanted to feed their own stomachs. So then they criticize you. Oh, Alvakoni? Oh, to see me, my archer, to see the Babi Ogyo here. 